Mike Burns picks up his fifth strikeout. Strikes on Ethier, and he struck him out. Burns is having a career day at Miller Park. Mike Burns rings up Russell Martin. Hey guys, Coach Mike here. And today we're going to go over our fifth installment of our base running series. And this is our leads and base running at third base. Now that we're at third base, we're in scoring position. Um, we've been in scoring position if you've been at second base as well. But this is a chance that we can score on many different situations. Tagging up on a fly ball, ground ball, wild pitch, pass ball, um, an air, any, any different situations we can, we can score from, from third base. The first thing we want to do is we want to know how many outs there are and where our defense is playing. All right, if we've got our infield back, our outfielders are playing normal depth. All right, we're going to go ahead and take our lead. And our lead, we're going to take our lead and we're going to get off as far as that third baseman. If that third baseman's about four or five steps, I should be about four or five steps from third base. If he shortens up, I can shorten up. But we want to take that lead as far as that third baseman is off the bag. We want to be in foul territory. So now, if that pitcher's in the stretch, I'm in foul territory, but I am close to the foul line in foul territory. I'm here. I'm nice and relaxed. When he delivers the ball to the plate, I want to make sure that he throws the ball home. As he throws the ball home, I'm going to walk. This is not a shuffle secondary. It will be a walking secondary. So as he throws the ball to the plate, I'm going to walk. Boom. I'm going to land with my right leg out facing that hitter as that ball's going through the hitting zone in foul territory. I want to be in foul territory because if a ball is hit and I'm in foul territory and the ball hits me, it's a foul ball. If I'm in fair territory and the ball hits me, I'm out. So this is, this is the key reason why we want to take our lead in foul territory. I'm out on my front foot, ball goes through the hitting zone, and the catcher catches the ball. As soon as he catches the ball, I want to step into fair territory and work my way back watching the ball. We go back into fair territory because that will take away the throwing lane from the catcher. As that third baseman creeps in, if they want to try to pick you off, they got to throw the ball around you because now you're taking away that throwing lane. If you're in foul territory going back, that's an easy throw for that catcher to the third baseman to try to throw you out. So we want to take our lead in foul territory Pitch crosses the plate, catcher catches it, we step into fair territory and our work, work our way back. Now, we're on third base, infield playing back. Ground ball, I'm gonna listen to my coach. Ground ball, he's gonna tell me to go. So let's contact, ball on the ground, we're going. So I take my lead. Now I know the infield's back, any ground ball I'm going. Now, as I have my lead at third base, any line drive, you always hear coaches say freeze on a line drive. At third base, line drive and fly ball, anything in the air, I want to be going back to the bag. If it's a line drive, I go back to the bag. If I get to the bag and the ball lands for a base hit, I'm scoring anyways. But I want to be in a habit of a line drive fly ball going back. We don't want to be caught off on a fly ball to where we like, oh, we start going forward and then we don't have a chance to get back and tag because that's a run that we're going to be costing our team. So line drives and fly balls with less than two outs, we are going back to the bag. Line drives, we go back to the bag, see it through, make sure it lands, and then we're gone. All right? Now, if it is a shallow fly ball, maybe a fly ball just over the third baseman's head, or the short stops, that little Bermuda Triangle, maybe shallow center field where the second base shortstop and center fielder's going, that, those little shallow fly balls. Those are the ones that as it's hit, we think about going back and tagging, and then we realize how shallow it is. When, on those shallow balls like that, those are the ones that we're gonna be off a little bit. So then if it falls, we can score because those are the balls that we're not gonna tag up on. Even if they catch it and we try to tag up, there's a good chance they're gonna throw us out. So we wanna make sure that if it does land, we can score to where if we're back there tagging and the ball falls, we'll never be able to score. So on those shallow balls, on the shallow balls, make sure that 
Our first reaction is to go back, recognize it's shallow, start creeping off. If they can't get to it and it lands in between all of them, we score. If they end up catching it, we go back to the bag because there's no way we're going to be able to tag up and score even if they do catch it. The next thing, fly balls in foul territory. Any fly ball, we're going back and tagging anyways. But if it's in foul territory, we tag up no matter where it's at. It might be a foul ball in the infield and the third baseman's coming up by the dugout. We go back and we tag. He catches it. We've already tagged up, now who knows what happens. He might throw it back to the pitcher and overthrow and now I can score. If I don't go back and tag, and I'm out here and he makes that throw, I might be out for not tagging up. So any foul ball, make sure we go back and tag because if, if they don't catch it, we can't advance anyways, it's a foul ball. Now with the infield in, all right, I'm on third base, infield in. We wanna listen to our coach, right? He's going to tell us. We might be going on contact with the infield in. That means a ground ball, ball hit off the bat, ground ball, we're gone, right? The coach is gonna tell us what we're gonna do. So it might be, hey, see it through or contact. If it's a see it through, now pretty much any ball hit, we're working back. Line drive, fly ball, we're already going back to tag. Boom, secondary out in front, ball's hit, I kind of, Lean back, make sure I see a ground ball through, and then I'm gone. All right, coach told me see it through. I'm going to creep back, make sure the ball's through, then I'm gone once I see it through the infield. Infield in, contact. We take our secondary. As soon as that ball's hit and we see the trajectory of that ball going down to the ground, we're gone. It doesn't matter where it's hit. It doesn't matter where it's hit. We're going on contact. So as soon as that ball's down on the ground, we're gone. Pay attention, know how many outs there are, know where your defenders are, and your coach is gonna let you know what he wants you to do. But don't forget, line drives and fly balls, we're always working back. The next thing is, once we have our lead, with a guy in the windup, not in the stretch, if the pitcher's in the windup, we now have our lead. We get out off as far as that third baseman. We want to be standing a little bit taller now. And now we want to watch those feet. If that pitcher, a right-handed pitcher, we're looking for his left foot. His left foot steps back. We want to take our lead. Right, uh, left-handed pitcher, it's the right foot goes back. We want to take that lead. So we're standing here, right? As soon as that pitcher takes his left foot back, right-handed pitcher goes into his windup to where he's got to throw home, we want to be walking, 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 and we want to be on that right foot, landing out in front as that ball's crossing that plate. So it's just a walking lead as they are going through their windup. You should get pretty far down. You should get pretty far down the line. Now, especially with two outs, this is a good good way to get down the line pretty good and anticipate that ball in the dirt to try to score. All right? Maybe with less than two outs, we'll dictate how far we want to go. Maybe we want to shorten up our lead a little bit and then we'll walk because we don't want to get a line drive to the third baseman and get doubled up. We don't want to be too far off with less than two outs and get doubled up. But as far as our lead, we want to walk, 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 and we want to land with that right foot when that ball's crossing, crossing the plate, getting in that hitting zone. That concludes base running at third base. Go out there, outwork, outplay. Hey guys, I know some of you don't have bases at home to do these base running drills, but go ahead and click the link below to grab yourself some PowerNet Throwdown bases.